So the, the project behind me is the Zisba Tidal Wetland Restoration Project to increase the rearing area for juvenile salmon and especially Chinook as they're coming out of the river. So the old main stem Stiligwamish is right here behind me and the fish are coming out from their spawning areas in the spring and they need places to grow larger before they head offshore. And these tidal wetlands like uh, you see behind me are, are an important stop on that uh, journey to the ocean. We're out here uh, monitoring uh, sites on a bi-weekly basis, just kind of trying to make sure that the project is functioning as designed and benefiting fish. Chub 105. Yeah, we can count the chub. And what will the DNA tell us? It'll tell us what river system they came from. So this area is kind of a mixing ground for the Whidbey Basin. So we typically find fish from the Skagit, Stiligwamish, and the Snohomish, although it's mostly Skagit and uh, Stiligwamish. So we are finding Chinook in, in this site, um, and it was a diked egg field for over 130 years. And so, um, you know, this is an area that fish historically used to use, but uh, they haven't been able to use for a very long time. And we are seeing Chinook, Chum, uh, bull trout and, and other salmonids inside the, the site for the first time in a long time. These projects are pretty important for Chinook recovery and for orca recovery and for ensuring that the tribes and non-treaty fishers have lots of opportunities.